Hey everybody, Luger the Excited here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, we recovered all but two ship pieces in the Distant Spring. Today's episode, we are going to be fighting the three optional bosses, as well as recovering the final two ship parts in the Distant Spring. Starting off, we're going to be starting off the Impact site today. I am not going to be uh, saving after these fights. Um, well, actually, I will. You know what, I will. I was gonna say to keep the day count down just so I could technically see if it was my fastest playthrough, which I think I'm gonna. I don't know. Oh, uh, we're just gonna get out 100 red Pikmin. Um, I'm not gonna be doing much. And you, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna save it. I'll save. I will. Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna save. Okay, there's the there's the iridescent flip beetle. I will just replay the uh distant spring day in between my uh playthrough. This is if I can get I'm not gonna be able to get all my pick one up here. I'm trying. This is the Mamuda. There's a reason I got all my 100 red Pikmin. This is the Mamuda, which is an optional boss in the Impact site, which I was wrong. It's day 8. Starting on day 8, this will appear on even numbered days. So when you attack it, do not kill it, do not kill it, do not kill it. It will plant Pikmin in the ground, and we killed it. But any Pikmin it hits into the ground are immediately flower eyes. And now I have to pluck all these Pikmin. So, yeah, we're gonna pluck these Pikmin. I'm just gonna uh, go to end of day. You have to sit here and watch me pluck every single Pikmin because I am making you suffer. Of me repeatedly tapping the A button. I'm almost done. We're getting there. Come on, Olimar, pluck faster. Also, you see in the background the uh, pearly clam clams. They replenish their pearls, and the pearly clam clam that held the positron generator also has a pearl now. So now, any given day coming to the impact site, you can get 150 free Pikmin. Where's the... Okay, now that we have that Pikmin, go to sunset. I've never shown this off. It just goes to sunset. Actually, I might have shown that off one time. I don't remember. <laughs> da 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 da. And I probably pointed this out the last time we were in Peck site, but there are no bull borbs here. I don't know why that's there. Alright, 12 days since impact. It's very strange. Seen her this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to, this, to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking there were some parts I do not need. SHUT UP! <laughs> we know! You don't need every part, Olimar! Don't save. We're actually gonna continue from last save. Which uh, takes us to the file selects. Oh wait, crap. Um. You know what, I wonder what the ship log will be this time. Will he, will he, ta will he talk about <laughs> ship parts he doesn't need? I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. I don't think I've ever shown off the file select screen. You have to watch this again. 
because I hate all of you, and I'm too lazy to edit it out, which I is very well within my ability to do. I could very well edit this out, but I'm not gonna, because you have to suffer. Yep, same, same one. Don't save. Continue. Alright, back to the impact site, for real. We're gonna take out 100 blues this time. You'll never guess. Starting on... Well, technically, I think this one starts on day... Well, technically, I think starting on day 8 still, but this one would technically start on day 9. It only appears on odd-numbered days. Until day 30. Maybe it starts on day 7. I don't know. Actually, we're only going to take out 50 so they can actually get them up the ramp. You guys are, like, not flowered at all. Get all of them? Wow, I got all of them. There's no buds in here, are there? There's there's trippers. Not to be confused with strippers. You might be saying, well, Luigi, there's nothing here. What do you mean there's stuff here on odd number days starting on day nine or seven, whichever one? Well, if we come to the middle. It's the Gulix! This thing is made out of water, which is why only blues can fight it. You fight it by throwing a... I think that's its brain. You throw it by... You fight it by throwing Pikmin at its brain, which bounces against that orb thing in the middle, which does damage to it. It's a really weird enemy, and I don't know why it exists, but it does. I'm out of Pikmin. Keep throwing. Yeah, Pikmin attempt- if you attempt to throw normal Pikmin into this, they will just start drowning. Which is why we took blues. Or not normal Pikmin, but other Pikmin types. I think that you do minuscule damage attacking that normally. I think it's going down. I wanna see if they kill it. They killed it. And it drops pellets. And go to sunset. We are now going to continue from last save. So don't worry, it's still day 12, except it's kind of day 13. Technically, if we do this correctly, we should finish this on day 15. With me saving, but I'm not. So we're finishing the game on day 13, because I think I can do the final boss in one day. Not sure. That'll be the next video. The finale. Are you going to talk about how you don't need every part again? Day 13 days, that's impact. Iridescent Flint Beetle. This creature's hypnotic, reflective body is quite hard, giving it's giving it a good defense against Pikmin attacks. Why then do the Pikmin chase it, chase it in such a frenzy? I wonder if it'll undergo any change if I hit it directly with Pikmin. Your guess is as good as mine, Alamar. Continue from last save. I made this copy of our of my file on day nine, which I guess I could test my theory if it starts on day nine without it still. I would need a day seven save file. You can see over there my day fourteen practice file. But now the real day twelve to the distant spring. So. I'm gonna fight the optional boss last, mostly because I want to make sure I get the ship parts before I fight it, which shouldn't take the whole day for me to fight it. But I'm gonna pluck these guys and put them away, because I don't really need them. Right now, I just need, I'm gonna get out about 30 blues. I think that's all I really need. Actually, no. We'll get out... 45 blues. Let's start by plucking nectar. Which probably won't spawn because I plucked it yesterday. Oh, nope, it did. I'm 
want to get rid of the leaves first. There's a bud in here. There's another bud. Okay. We got it. Now we want to head over here. I really dislike this puzzle, but I'm going to see if I can get it. It's a lot easier on the Wii version. But on this version of the game, these stupid blues do not like to get up here. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn the blues into yellows and then throw them over to that island on the sand. Number two, Ionium Jet. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage, that's boast that with excellent mileage, that's easy on the family budget. This jet will keep your wife smiling and, a pro and propel you to a happy home life. And I'll recover 28 out of 30 parts. If I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, and that one other part is over here. So, what you're supposed to do... Actually, you're supposed to do it from over here. This would make a lot more sense. That's why I could never do this. Nope, it still doesn't make it over there. See, this is so much easier on the Wii version. Actually, if I stand right here, it's not that bad. Okay. As long as I don't fall off. I've had that problem a lot. You're supposed to throw all the blues up here. And throw them all into this thing. Get up there. Convert them into yellows, which actually gets rid of their flowers. Maybe I should have saved the leaves. I'm gonna start plucking them now. Convert them all into yellows. I've never actually played this game on the Wii version, but I know that this puzzle has to be easier because of pointer controls. Like, it has to be. There's no way it's not easier on the Wii version. We're gonna pluck all these yellows now that we have yellows. Like, one of the three things in this game you actually use yellows for. Go into overhead mode, then... Throw the yellows over here. I'm worried they're gonna go in the water. Then throw them up at this thing. Hopefully, I have enough. How many is it? 20? That looks like a 30 piece. Like a 30 Pikmin part. I always bring 30 in. It's always too many. I'm gonna get this thing down here. I found my Kronos reactor. Using the strange Duke technology, this machine is able to warp space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I'm constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. Let me get them all back. Convert them all back to blue Pikmin. And put them all back on carrying this thing. <sighs> I don't like using candy pop buds. It's just tedious to pluck all the Pikmin. Now in later games, when plucking gets faster, they're not that bad. But also in later games, they never actually get used outside of Pikmin 2, in which case two of them are used. And that is for reasons we will delve into if I play Pikmin 2 again. I wouldn't look forward to that LP, I'm going to be completely honest. Pikmin 2 is not a bad game, but it's just one of those games. I, I can't play it all the time. It's like Mario 64. 
And when I say Mario 64, I, I do speed run Mario 64. I'll, I'll link my Twitch in the description of this video or something. Because I do, I do very much enjoy Mario 64. What I play of it. And by what I mean by what I play of it is, if you've seen my stream, my like live stream VOD, just go to the second day of uh, Mario 64. I should really play more Sunshine. I, I stopped after like episode 6. Was, I really should play more of that and actually finish that. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Mario 64. It's a game I can speedrun, but I can only play the full game like once a year. Because Rainbow Ride and TikTok Clock just piss me the hell off. I hate those levels. And when I play Mario 64, it's either speedrun or all or nothing. I'm either doing a speedrun or beating the game fully. I'm going to keep like five of these guys out. Actually, no, I'm just going to put them all away. And we're going to get out like 60 reds for the uh, boss fight that we're going to be doing here. Actually, no, we're only going to do 50. Okay, I'm going to make sure they're all flowers. They are not. So we're going to attempt to flowerize some of these guys. Any more? I don't think so. At the Kronos reactor, which goes in the bottom of the dolphin. Kronos Reactor. This reactor changes permutations of the space-time continuum into per pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. I've recovered 29 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. Oh, wow, they're floating. We did it. Except there's still a gap where the bowsprit is, is supposed to connect. And it's bent. Good job, dolphin. You didn't even fix yourself fully. One more. I think I got everyone. Oh my god, there's there one leaf. There's two. Whatever. I'm gonna dismiss you guys over here. I'm going to put you guys, other than five of you. We're gonna, take, we're gonna keep five. And we're gonna go over to that egg I mentioned on the first day. This egg is only available through days, well, Technically, day, days 1 through 15, but you're not going to get here on day 1, 2, or 3, so. I don't even know if you can even get here by day 4, but you're just going to just go out and have your blue Pikmin attack the egg. Oh. And it opened. This is the Smoky Prog, the hardest enemy in this game. It is I don't know if it's technically poison elemental, but that's basically what it is. That trail is a trail of poison. And it's going to make a beeline for the onion, your uh, your base. And poison in this game, white Pikmin do not exist in this game. That was a Pikmin 2 invention that we're immune to poison, as well as poison being a technical classified element. Poison is insta-kill in this game. He's going to go over to the red onion, I believe. It's going to be the red onion first. It might it might not be, but I believe it will be. Because I think he always does it first on the red onion. He's going to do this roar attack. Now, you might be saying, it does absolutely nothing. You would be partially correct. If you have no Pikmin rooted, we've already lost some. If you have no Pikmin rooted at the time he does the roar attack, it will, in fact, do nothing. Get off him, get off him, get off him. Is he going to move? I'm wasting time, but I don't want to be there when he actually starts attacking. We've only lost two Pikmin so far. It'll uproot any Pikmin, and they will go to him, and they will pretty much die. You're basically going to wait for him to do another roar attack on one of the other ones. Oh, he's doing it again. Okay, he's doing it again. And, nope. Not what I want to do. I just want to get right under him. And I don't know if I've talked about this, but... Oh! Yeah, he started moving pretty fast after that one. You can technically attack him while he's moving, but I wouldn't advise it. I'd just wait for him to do the roar attack because he stops moving for a while. Red. He's already almost down. 
This guy is hard if you don't know how to fight him, but if you, if you know how to fight him, he really isn't that bad. And he does give a very good reward. Now, interesting piece of trivia about this guy. He only appears in this game. This is the only game he appears in. And remember the Mamuda from earlier? The reason I want to do all these in the same episode is because I want to talk about this. It is said, I don't know where, it might be in some, um, uh, like, uh, date, like, journal entry by Alomar at some point. But, according to Alomar, it is believed that the Smoky Prog is a baby, a larval Mimuto with a birth defect. That is, like, his official, like, notes on the Smoky Frog, Prog. And we killed it. We're gonna put all the Pikmin away, except for three to carry that gold pearl. The poorly clan clans, they drop silver pearls. What does the gold pearl do? Because we're about to find out. We'll put all these guys away. Now, theoretically, you'd want 100 Pikmin out, because obviously it's gonna give us Pikmin. But, what this thing does, and we're giving it to the reds, because the reds are god to your Pikmin. Get in, get in the onion. It gives you, oh my god, look at all these sprouts. Oh, not 50, not 50. 100 Pikmin. This is the, I believe, actually no, I'm pretty certain. This is the number one highest giving item in any Pikmin game. It gives you an immediate 100 Pikmin and it is only in this game. It does not show up in Pikmin 2 or 3. It is only in Pikmin 1 and is only obtained by beating the Smoky Prog, which can only be found if you get here before day 15. Otherwise, the egg isn't there. So. Also, if you get here before day 15 and wait until after day 15 to possibly fight the Smoky Prog, it also won't be there. You have to fight it before day 15. Even if you access the area before day 15, after day 15, the egg is gone. I don't think I said that. But we give it to the reds because the reds are the best Pikmin color in this game. I took a drink, so that was why we had that awkward pause. Longest episode of the series? Probably. We're at like 20 minutes right now. 22 minutes. And I had to keep plucking all of these 100 Pikmin. This kind of sucks, but you know, it's whatever. It's worth it. We're almost done. We only have 20 more. Six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. We're gonna put all. Actually, no. We're not gonna put any of them away. We're going to sunset with the one hundred Pikmin. One hundred red leaves. Ah, oh, look at that. It's beautiful. A hundred red leaf Pikmin. And with that, we have one final area to access. With the final piece of the ship, what could it be? We're gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play Pick. I should have saved that until the video is actually ending. But it's not, because... Wait, the boss were just snapped into place! What the heck? <laughs> Why did it do that? It's not supposed to do that yet. <laughs> That's dumb. Alright. 12 days since impact. Again. At last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. Trial. Life support fails in 18 days. Courage. Ah, just look at that red Pikmin population skyrocket. Yeah, I love it. And truly, this is the final trial. We even have we even have a meteor shower in the background. This is the final trial, and we will see, I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin, where we will take on the final trial. See you guys then.